Pascal's wager in the worst form. Many people on the video that this person commented on spoke about Pascal's wager. Pascal's wager is the fact that you would, it's better for you to believe that there is a God in existence, meaning the Christian God is in existence, than for you to wager not, because if there is a God, then, hey, you get glory, you get heaven. If there's no God, no harm, no foul. As I said in the video, the messed up thing about Pascal's wager is that only the Christian God can exist, because if any other God is ever spoken of, if that God is right, then Pascal's wager doesn't work, because if you believe in the wrong God, then you suffer the hell of the right God. So if the Muslim God is right, you go to Muslim hell. If the Hindu God Brahma is right, then you have to come back in a lower caste and suffer on this mm -hmm. earth. So it depends on what God that you're talking about. Is Odomare the right God? Are the sky people the right God? Who's the right God? That's the question. But this person just demonstrated probably the worst version of this. They said that I need to love Jesus. Said love of Jesus came after a healthy fear of the Lord. There is no such thing as a healthy fear of the Lord. You see, according to your Bible, it says that perfect love drives out all fear. If there is still fear within you of a deity, then therefore there is no perfect love within your God. So then your God cannot be God then. It is an imperfect God. And God must be perfect in order for you to worship him. That's what your Bible says. It's not what I'm saying. It's what's in your book. So, my friend here, Stephanie, you then made it worse when you said that I'm, if I'm not afraid, I found out I'm a very dangerous person. Even with God, your belief in God, you are a dangerous person. Because anybody who requires to have a God to be a good person is very dangerous. If you require something outside of you to be a good person, to not murder, to not steal, to not uh, to rape, to not uh, be uh, disingenuous, to not be a liar, to, to not do all these immoral things. If you require a God to have morality then you have no morality within yourself and therefore you're a psychopath. You are. I mean, that's what you would be. So you're saying you need something outside of you to keep you in check, to keep you in line. Otherwise, you're a dangerous person. Without God, you think you're going to go around murdering people? I know y'all think that of people who don't believe in your God and you just want to go out here and do whatever, but that's not true. Morality was around longer than your God, longer than Abraham, longer than your book was ever written. Uh, the Hammurabi Code, the laws of Mayat, other civilizations around the world had rules of morality long before they ever heard of your God or your God ever being written down or ever existing. So therefore, your statement is all kinds of fallacies. But then you show how you're dangerous, even with your God. And you're saying you're welcome for the content. I'm a rich sinner that doesn't deserve heaven just like you speak for yourself please speak for yourself this is the problem with people like you who have this god is that you believe that your statements about people and about life is true for all people i deserve all the glory of the universe all the bounty of the universe universe i am very deserving of all of it I don't have to believe in your God. You might be a wretched sinner. I do not blaspheme against my own spirit. I do whatever I choose to do as long as it doesn't interfere with someone else's ability to do what they choose to do and live happily and live a life of prosperity. Meaning, I cannot rape because that would be interfering with someone else's rights and liberties. I cannot rob. I cannot steal. I cannot murder. I can't do any of those things. Because I don't want them done to myself or anyone that I love. nor and, and also that will be taken away from another person's ability to live their life in harmony. You see, I don't need your book or your God to be that type of person. Because I was that type of person even before I really understood your God, your book. Because those were values that my parents instilled in me. And so on and so forth. And yes, you can say that for generations my family has believed in Christianity. But... My father's family comes from the Dogons. 
had no Christianity and they had those morals. My mother's family comes from Nigeria. They had those morals long before any European ever came to Nigeria. So to say that only through your God there is morality, only through your God there is salvation, well, that's dangerous because you are the very type person that the colonizers came to the Americas, came to the, Af to the African continent and destroyed and maimed people in order for them to believe in their God. That is the exact same mentality that the Romans had when they went up through Europe and forced people to become Christian at the tip of a spear. 321, Emperor Theodosius demanded all of Roman Empire become Christian. That meant that he had to force Christianity on everyone in France, Germany, Britain, Spain, all throughout Europe. And that force continued through inquisitions. That force continued through all the witch hunts. The Roman Empire massacred 50 million people in converting them over to Christianity. And then that mindset continued. I know that's far, hit, far away history, and you may not be able to track back to your family's origins. But if your family origins came any time before Theodosius, your family wasn't Christian, but they were forced into Christianity like the rest of the world. So you always got to remember, you got to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Well, yours might be negotiable. Good journey, good vibrations.